Hello everyone. In this video we're going to discuss how to create a line graph chart in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now I have already prepared some data. Now whatever your line of business is or whatever you work in, you all may measure your sales, productive hours, labor. I mean there's there's a long long list of details that you can analyze in your business for productivity. In this case I'm actually using call resolution time or average call handling time a very common KPI or metric in a call center environment. Now I've created some names on the left. We have Brenda, Charlie, John, and Jeremy. And we have their stats over the last few days. And then we actually have an additional line for goal. There's a 370 second goal. And this lists the amount of seconds that they are on an actual call for the day. I mean, this is their average. So in order to create the line graph chart, I mean, very simple, in Microsoft Excel, we're going to go to Insert. You want to highlight the data that you're going to be graphing. So for this situation, let's go on and do a line graph. Now you have a 2D line or a 3D line. I'm just going to go on and pick a 2D line for now. Line with markers. And that's how simple it is just to get a chart going for you. Now, of course, we're going to want to format it and make it a little bit nicer. So as you notice, the lines do not look to get, they don't really tell a good story because of how the graph is fixed, more, more like the axis. But this is the first thing that you would want to do is format the axis. And you can put a minimum and a maximum. Now, when I look at the, the data, the lowest CRT or call, resolu call resolution time I see on here is probably about 370 seconds. So as a minimum, we can put it at a fixed amount. Let's just do 340 seconds. And for maximum, one of the highest numbers I see on here is probably 429 seconds. Let's go on and put 450. We'll hit tab. And as you notice, the graph does change where you now have a better story. So the next thing that you might want to do, if one, if you don't like the formatting of your graph, you can always change it from up here. You can make your selection. Personally, I thought the first colors were better, so I'm going to go and revert back to that using the undo option, hitting Control Z. Okay, so now we have this set up. I mean, you can make the graph larger by easily resizing it. And what you would want to do, though, is probably set up the goal so that the line is dotted. I mean, you, let me show you how to format a line. I'm going to click the, the, the goal series, right click it, and I'm going to put format data series. And from here, we'll have the option to change the line style. By default, under dash type, it's a solid line. We know we can put a dash line, a square dot line, a round dot line, but I'm going to do the dash. And of course, you have the preview ready in the back as to how it appears. And once you're satisfied with your selection, go on and hit close. And there you have it. What I would highly recommend doing, because the chart options in Excel are rather simple, I mean, go through change chart type and go on and go through some examples and see what you can do with these graphs. Graphs can tell a really great story for those visual learners, and it can be very helpful in the work environment. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.